Lost Ark is a tough game. There are so many things to do and people tend to get confused because everyone plays differently. This video is a roadmap series to figure out where you are in the game and what else you need to do besides getting your item level up to progress. Level 1 to 50, just enjoy the game. Item level 302 to 600, tier 1. Equip stuff as you go, do your dailies, and adventure throughout the game. Important combat stats are crit, specialization, and swiftness. Everything else is dismantled. Don't worry about engravings, just make sure you don't have level 1 grudge or level 1 curse doll. Item level 600 to 1100, tier 2. Same thing, equip as you go, do your dailies, and adventure throughout the game. If you loot gems, wear them and sell them later when you reach tier 3. Having level 3 of 1 engraving is good, which is 15 diamond notes. But please don't be stressed out about it. Class engraving is a good start, or a conditional damage engraving, like Hitmaster for Sork or Barricade for Gunlancer. You will start to have more free time. If you do, work on your adventure tome, hidden quests, collectibles like Island Token and Mukoko Seeds, Reports, make an alt, or unlimited chaos dungeon if you want to grind, or just go play Elden Ring. 1302-1370, Ura Pravasa. Aim for 2 level 3 engravings as you progress, which is 30 diamond notes. Equip tier 3 gems as you go. Your final gem goal is level 5. Since you have to fuse 3 of the previous level, work up gradually. For example, level 1 first, then level 2, then level 3, etc. Level up your skills through tripods. Utilize your library and notifications. Never ever use your precious powder of wisdom. For cars, just naturally work on Seria, Madnik, Sien, Mocha Mocha, and Wei. I mentioned them because you can buy them at traveling merchants. In the meantime, you can wear something like a field boss 2 or farewell weapon, which it gives you HP. In the future, you'll be able to either buy a character or boost at this level. And developers will give you a free boost event. Most of the time, this happens when new classes come out. If your friends have quit the game because of Elden Ring, they can catch up to you during the event. Tell them to play more Elden Ring and come back. 1370, Argos Checkpoint. Minimum requirement for Argos Phase 1. At least 2 level 3 engravings, 30 diamond nodes total. Proper combat stats, crit, spec, or swift, it's depend on classes. Gems all at level 3 or 4. Tripods at level 1 to 3, at major DPS skills. HP card sets like Farewell Weapon or Field Boss. So I will also give you a personal recommendation of what I would do for all classes. You don't have to copy me on this, but it is a great starting point for you to think about. The basic thought process is, if you have a high vitality factor, it's okay to have Grudge as your second engraving for big damage boosts. To classes that has a super efficient level 1 engraving, I recommend them as a 3-3-1 instead of 3-3. Spirit Absorption is for classes that I think it might have a hard time surviving in the early 3-3 engravement stage. For example, if I'm playing a shock training scrapper, I would get spec crit necklace and one crit ring and rest being spec. Since I'll be very slow, I need spirit absorption engravement to have support on my attack speed and movement speed. Maybe later on, if I can get another level 3 engraving, I will put grudge afterwards. You also have to keep in mind to build your character based on your market prices as well. For example, for Sorks, I heard Ignition is very expensive. So going through another route, All Out Attack, Hitmaster, and Reflux 1, it does about the same damage as Ignition. There's not much of a big difference. It would be wise to spend less money and probably have the same spec to actually challenge Argos. 1400. Checkpoint for Argos up to Phase 3. 3 level 3 engravings, one being Grudge most of the time. 45 diamond nodes total. All gems at level 4. Tripods at level 3 on major DPS skills. The card set's the same most of the time. This is when Demonic Impulse Shadowhunter gets strong with proper combat stats. Also classes that require high spec like Gunlancer. 1415, Valtan Checkpoint. About the same as Argos Checkpoint, but keep pushing those numbers. 1430, Vikas Checkpoint. 3 level 3, plus 1 level 1 engraving, 50 diamond nodes. All gems at level 5, tripods at level 3 on major DPS skills. 1445, Valtan Hard Checkpoint. 4 level 3 engravings, all gems at level 5. Tripods at level 3 on major DPS skills. Note that you'll run this dungeon for at least 4 weeks to get the full orange gear. This is when most classes get a huge power spike, especially War Dancer, Striker, Deathblade, or Deadeye. Also, this is the point where almost every single class reaches an endgame. The playstyle doesn't really change much from here, other than damage or a little bit of cooldown. So this already covers a very long time, so I will end it with a goal. Full orange gear set. 5 level 3 engravings, all gems at level 7, tripods at level 4 are major DPS skills, and Stormwind Cliff card set. Well, you don't have to have this, but if you can, it's good, no rush. Proper combat stats. For example, for Shadowhunter, you need at least 1400 spec. When the time is right, I can provide additional help. In the meantime, if you have questions, come by my stream anytime. Thanks guys, and good luck. Bye.